and two here. So it looks like the part that we're going to have to do here is that these things were already installed. According to this picture, it looks like we're going to have to take these off. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew each one of these. Now it's it's crucial for you to make sure you keep track of the screw that you that's that's screwed in here now. The reason why is because you're going to need it again later. So I'm going to put it off to the side. Now, as you see, you kind of just have to wiggle this. That comes right off. And here you go. Now that's the actual part that turns. Then there's little teeth on here. You can't actually see it in the camera, but there are teeth, and this kind of just fits in there again, see? When you want to take it out, just snap it off and you're done. So I'm going to put this off this side. I'm going to do the same with the other servo. And as you can see, I'm just using the uh, parallax screwdriver. Nothing fancy. And this one's off too. Remember, these are freshly uh, sent to us, so they're new and so they're a little, everything is pretty tight, tightly put together. So according to the picture, this looks like the front portion here of the Sumo, I'm assuming, you know, right now. But according to this picture, <clears throat> these have to go mounted in as such. Now, I'm not seeing that these are going to fit. So it looks like one is larger than the other, actually. But looks like, actually, no, see? So I made a mistake, you can't just put them in there like that. You're going to have to put them in like so. So we're going to have to put this in there, and boom. Yep, there we go. See, so you have to slide them in from the outside. The reason why you have to slide them in from the outside is because they're too big to fit inside, just like that. And also, the cables kind of stick out the back this way. So you can see this is still coming, to, you know, this is coming together pretty nice. You know, you have the battery cable here, and you have the actual pulse width modulation cables here, which are the standard interface for servos. Here they are. There we go. Now all we have to do is kind of just screw these in. So again, it says take eight pan heads machine uh, machine uh, screws, 440 screws, which are these here. You know, they're uh, the ones that come in the kit that have the most uh, number, and you're going to have to actually do both sides of this. So it looks like me putting on uh, both of these here, both these servos, might be a little challenging for me, but I think I can pull it off. So basically all I'm doing here is just kind of screwing this in lightly. Not applying much pressure yet. Um, especially with servos, there's the holes on the servos, on the servo mounts themselves, on the servo. Not on the bottom, not on the chassis, but on the servo are actually open-ended. Um, it's not a closed circle or a closed hole. So it lets you uh, basically, you know, if you leave it loose enough, get a little wiggle room to wiggle it around and put it in place on purpose. So for that matter, I leave them loose, and then once I have all the uh, screws and nuts in place, then I start tightening it up and positioning it exactly where I need it to be. Okay, we're almost there. That looks like that servo popped out, so I couldn't couldn't pull it off after all. But we're not out of the woods yet. Let's see what happens. Let's see if I can. It helps if you have small fingers for this. I'm a uh, got kind of clunky fingers, so it makes it a little difficult to get into certain tight spaces. So now I'm just going to make sure this is all. Yep, okay, so this is properly seated, and I'm going to go ahead and finish tightening up. Now, you don't want to tighten it too much because these are, the servo is plastic, and since it's an open hole, you could easily um, make that hole larger and actually break the plastic. Um, take my word for it, you don't need to tighten it that much. Um, this is not doing any heavy lifting. Um, it's just moving around a little, this little chassis, which really doesn't weigh much.